Okay, we're given the graph of a function, and we want to do a multiple choice. Which one of these graphs is going to be the derivative for this given function? All right, so the first thing I want to do as I look at this function is identify when are our tangent lines going to be horizontal, all right? So these occur whenever we have maximums and minimums, typically. So I think the very first one I notice goes across here. It looks like an x value of negative 1. The next one appears to be at an x value of positive 1. So those are going to correspond with 0 for the slope of the tangent line. So we're going to have x-intercepts on the tangent line at negative 1 and positive 1. Kind of illustrating this, I'm going to try to draw it on the same axes. So uh, negative 1 and positive 1 are going to be 0 for our derivatives graph. Now the other thing to take a look at as we look at this is we're decreasing on the left-hand side. That's going to correspond with negative um, derivatives. All right, so meaning we can only draw our derivative graph below the x-axis to the left of negative 1, while we're increasing in the middle between negative 1 and positive 1, right? Meaning positive slopes for tangent lines. So that means we can only draw above the x-axis between negative 1 and positive 1 for the derivatives graph. And again on the right-hand side, it's decreasing again, so that means only drawing the derivatives graph below the x-axis. So kind of going through here, we said negative 1 and positive 1 were supposed to be x-intercepts uh, for the derivatives graph. So this one's out. All right, here we said negative and positive 1 were x-intercepts for the derivatives graph. So this has possibility, but remember what we said about increasing and decreasing? Decreasing to the left, increasing in the middle, decreasing on the right. Decreasing on the left mean meant we can only be drawing below the x-axis here, above the x-axis in the middle, and below the x-axis on the right side. So this one's out as well. What about this? It violates the x-intercept thing that we said before, so that one's out. And finally, taking a look here, x-intercepts are in the right place, drawing below the x-axis to the left and to the right, above the x-axis in the middle, that means that has to be the graph of our derivative function. All right, satisfies everything we wanted it to, corresponding with our increasing and decreasing intervals, as well as the x-intercepts or where our horizontal tangent lines, we're going to have a slope uh, of zero. All right, hope this helps out on these multiple choice matching, connecting the original function and the derivatives graph.